when I was a younger man in Meldwood, when there's no gas and weeds to huff air, you bend over and breathe real hard, or maybe 20 times. And then one of your buddies come up from behind and squeeze your chest real hard. Then you pass out and dream and go off. When you come round again, it felt like you'd been away a year, and you'd say, well, How long's I out? Everyone would laugh, because it had only been a few seconds. You see, I was about six years old when I first started huffing. I'd get me some of that lot of fluid, and I'd get me some of that good gasoline and huff it right up. By the time I was a younger man, I was pure animal. Seeing dolls, what I wanted to do was to get high. I'd wake up my arms all blooded and black with ink I'd scratched in there. Daggers and crosses, that sort of thing. They'd be whole weeks past, cam by cam. Daddy really loved me, and I know now that he is only trying to help me, keep me from deteriorating my brain. D. Ray White is my daddy, and never there is a better man a dancer that ever lived. He is able to jump 52 steps more than any other dancer ever. He is the greatest mountain dancer of all time. He's a worldwide. All over West Virginia, Kentucky, and all these parts, they still talk about the fast stepping feet of my daddy, D. Ray White. I got him, D-Ray. Come on, Jason. Well, more than one time, the sheriff took me right down to Meldwood. That's the West Virginia Industrial School for Boys. That's a reform school. They'd shave you and spray you down to make sure you didn't have none of the blue ball crabs. Man, that shit burned. They sprayed your nuts, too. They give you your clothes and make you line up. Maine. Jessica White. Back again, Jessica White. Just like the army. Left, left, right, left. Go up. Turn. Left, 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 right, left. Left, Go. Go up. Go. Turn. Sometime, if you messed up and they thought Meldwood weren't strong enough in its punishments, they'd send you to Everett Work Camp. You really didn't want to go there. I guess they post to make you better than what you are down there. Move it! But I don't oppose it took. Instead, I reckon it just made it worser. Cause soon as I get out, I just do something to get right back in. My daddy tried to fight it though. He didn't want nothing from me but the dancing. He understand from a young age that I was weak and he tried to keep me from the evil in the world. But I was ready gone, and then things what happened made me slide even farther.
Darcy! Darcy, come on! Go get Papa's hacksaw. You know, the one in the mowing shed. It looks like a bow. Rocket. Pardon? A lot of fluid. Rocket. Mr. Warner, you want to come over here? Some bitch, all I wanted was some lot of fluid. We know it, you, Jesse. You've been breaking in every store in town, stealing a lot of fluid. You want your daddy to come and collect you, boy? Now, wait a damn minute. Oh, son of a bitch. So I'd end up back in that place. In a place like that, things tend to happen. It'll make you even worse still. Keep on sliding right down, you know? Well, one of the other boys decided he just plain didn't like me very well. So he and a few others worked me over pretty good right there in the washing room. Give me a cigarette. I don't have any. Boy, you better give me a cigarette. I told you, I don't have any. Sure wish I did. I knew the kid from Boone County named Cedal Davis, and he took me and showed me how things ran, you know? Cedal then told me that I'd best get him back quick and show me how to make a kind of knife like a weapon out of tape, shaving razors, and a toothbrush. Well, I left a cigarette packet out on the bunk there in the dorm room. The CM kids would beat me, figured that they had called to any of my things, so they'd come over and took them. Well, I'll tell you now that I don't really recall what happened second for second. But at the end of it, all them boys had been beaten worse than I took. Their ears had been slit, their nostrils opened up and flapping, and their mouths cut wide like they was smiling. Just like you could a pig. Some of them things that I'd done in my life come out of the gas and the like. Some of them things that would later happen come from Meldwood in the camp. And horror, there's madness that come from what happened to Siller and D-Ray, too. In the beginning, God created the earth and the light and all things good was born. After the devil fell from heaven's grace, all men walked the earth and wars of suffering broke everywhere on the earth. God cried and was angered so the floods came, and he drowned all the evil that had taken root. Except in the devils, and the soil, and the rocks, and the air. There can be no hiding from it, till we're awashed in the pure fire of the rapture. He tried to give it to me, the gifted, the dancing, to push the other from my blood. Take off them shoes. I said, take off them shoes. Why? Take them off, you little son of a bitch. You're gonna learn one goddamn thing in your misery life. You're gonna learn to dance. Watch me. Come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's right. That's good. Once you get the flat foot, I'll teach you another step. Come on. Look at me. Look at me. Every day, we'd go out there on the dirt out the front, and we'd hit it, you know? Get all them steps down. We'd dance it barefoot on counter, it toughens up your feet and ankles. Well, we must have gone out there most days for about two or maybe five months. I got myself pretty good at dancing in D-Ray. Well, he wanted me to get going on it.
Daddy liked to see everyone having a good time and keeping out of trouble. That is why everyone all over Boone County and all the parts around here, they love D-Ray. They used to all come out. The cripples, the homeless, the colored folks, everyone is welcome at ours. That is the way D-Ray liked it. They'd tell jokes and dance and sing, and everyone would carry on and have a real good time. Edgar Hood played for Daddy. They as close as kin since they are kids. He's a powerful preacher too. I mean, he'd cite the Bible chapter and verse. Everything is perfect then. We is all together and happy. But I is weak. I didn't care much for nothing at all. right in your veins. Give me your arm. I'll pop your little one. will make you feel just like an angel from heaven. Y'all be running for three days, not being able to sit still or close your eyes. But you never want to come down. gonna throw me down in the real prison that time. Said when they got me to the jailhouse, the doctors realized I was not in my right mind. So they sent me to Bennett State Hospital. That's the same asylum. I must have spent more time in them places than I was out. But when I was out, I'd try and follow what my daddy'd said and hope and the dancer would keep me right. Things was like that for some year. I'd try and stay good, but I was weak and sooner or later I'd do something evil and get sent right back in.
What you do that for? watching my own program? How can you say it to me like that? When I'd go off it and get in a fight or something like that, they'd hold me down and shoot me up with something to keep me good and quiet. I'd be right for a time then. Before them drugs were off and I'd feel it again. The devil moving in my blood. sun shines and Jesus holds court, then all's light. But when the dark comes, then things change. And the other angels come, black with no teeth, flying, moving fast. They howl and they take your thoughts. And all that evil stays clogged and your guts turn with it. Your heart labors with it. Till the sin flows through your blood. I was still incarcerated the night they killed my daddy. They didn't tell me about D-Ray for quite a time on account of all them drugs they had moving through my brain around then. They waited till I was back in my right mind. That took a while, so... Even when they eventually told me, I don't suppose I understood just what it was they were saying. It is about six months that I had to sit and stew, thinking about what they did to my daddy. I love my daddy and will till the day I die. It is D-Ray Wyatt that gave me this life, and they're the only good in it has been his doing. But they took that from me. <laughs> eye for an eye was my thinking, just like it says in the Bible. Now, uh, I just want to make sure that uh, you realize what you're getting yourself into, uh, Mrs. White. Uh, if you sign this, you're responsible for him and his continued care, uh, making sure he takes his medication and goes to his psychiatric appointments. Can you explain it plain? We kind of we don't have the education. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, here, take your hand. Now. Take it like this and put it on Jesse's head. Like this. Now his brain there, it's like, um, well, it's like ashes. Cigarette ashes? Yeah, that's right, uh, cigarette ashes. 
I don't think anything as sad or as powerful as my daddy dying ever happened to me. His death is a deep hurt in my heart and in my brain too. It's a great pain when someone you love dies like that. And almost strong enough to change your whole life. Jessica, look here. You can work on your dancing now. Take your daddy's shoes. So I took them old shoes and I made to set my life straight, to get away from all the bad things would happen. Wait, wait. Yeah, on that one, the right the there. On the uh, where? Yeah, when you when you do that bounce and then right shuffle. There. Yeah. I called up old Bob Houston. Again. Bob played the guitar many times with Edgar Hood, the old banjo player who played all them years with Daddy. Now, on that one right there, you just need to bounce and then shuffle. Yes. So he knew all the songs or guitar strumming that I could do them steps to. We started playing anywhere as it have us. Oh, he called me to love him and called me his flower. That blooming to cure. Then John Jackson got us some shows over in Charlotte and we took the show on the road. Well, we started there in Charlotte and then all over. We must have played five or six times a week in Ajax, Manharm, Delsot, Gary, Jessup Town, and Hoar, Baney Town. I get up there in Daddy's shoes feeling good, you know? But I always had this problem that no matter where I was or how good I was feeling, I was only one second away from thinking them bad thoughts and starting it all over. It is in me like a cancer ruining my blood. I try the good life all right, but my guts is bad, turning over sour. See, I used to think real bad things. Time I was down there in Meldwood, I was on detail, you know? when you gotta do work around the place and that sort of thing. So I was out there mowing and working hard and waving to them guards and all, when I get to thinking, what makes a lawn mowing run? It's out of gas. Now, I don't know if and I was dreaming or awake, 
Well, man, I'll tell you, I'd some thorps come to me then and weren't no good. <laughs> There is thoughts of killing and hurting every one of them guards. I had all kinds of them punishments. Just about any kind of pain you can imagine. A kind of vengeance angel, I'd give them their retribution for their sins. Fuck your daddy. <laughs> this song's called The Wildwood Flower. Y'all don't want to be so rude, I know. Y'all been drinking alcohol, I understand. But you're disturbing my show and disrespecting my daddy. And that's some bad manners. Fuck you! <laughs> Y'all kiss your mother with that mouth? <laughs> Wait, Bob! Hey. Hey, you going to Ward Pryor? We ain't got no ride, man. Well, let's put her out in the road. We'll get us a ride just like a fish, and then hijack the call. All right. See, I was prepared to steal the car at night and rob them people of all their money. That is how I was thinking at the time. Till I saw her, vision of beauty, like an angel from heaven. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You're shining. Do they sparkles? My God! Why are you laughing at me? Can you see me without your glasses? Why? Can you? No. My God, you look just like a movie star. <laughs> you do, you look just like a movie star. I think I am in love. What's your name, baby? Eeny. Eeny Carter. I think I'll have to call you Priscilla. It's just my favorite name. <laughs> Where are we going? I was going to a wedding in Pryder, but we could go to mine. It's it's in Twilight. Twilight! Ooh. Ooh. My husband, Vernon, he's away with the children. We could go party at my house. Man, that is the best piece of pussy I had my whole life that night. The cleanest, too. I never before or since saw a bird that smart and could talk just like a person. Friends of Scylla's? Who the fuck is Scylla? Enid! What the fuck is going on here? <sighs> they's my cousins. What? They's my cousins. And who's he? Their friend. And who the fuck is Scylla? 
Well, she's Scylla. Scylla? <laughs> She left him that night and came away with me. I don't know why, and I'm sure she don't either. Sometimes she can be kind of simple like that, just doing things without thinking. Like a chicken, it can't help eating. You know, if you don't take that food away, chicken will eat itself to death. That's a fact. Me and Seal got a place out near Rod Kulshak's holler and Seal came out on the road. She loved being out on the road. Them times we'd go as far as Marshall or Cookstown. Seal would cook my food and wash my clothes just like a regular family. Those was the best times I can remember. My good life. What you got there? Eggs. Jesus, Seal, you gonna cook them eggs? Sloppy, slimy eggs again? Well, I got bacon. And those little peppers you like, too. Well, I really do love them peppers. <laughs> Darned if these ain't the hottest little fuckers. Bangs my mouth. Maybe it's too hot, huh? <laughs> Should I have made it a la mode? <laughs> it tastes good. <laughs> Come here, baby. Tell you, son, that silly could drink, but she could do one thing better than all that. Drunk or sober, she's some hot stuff. Been training at it since a kid, she said. Oh. <laughs> I guess there was some that said she weren't much to look at, and there were days I'd agreed with. But man, I loved her, honestly, seriously. I tell you, she is always trying me, picking at my brain, what little's left it. She'd drive me into a red, red effing rage. Yes! What's going on here? Well, nothing. Jess, give it to me. You know me, Riley. I ain't done nothing wrong. Come on now, Jess. You know how she's picking up my brain and all she's fucking with my fucking head! Stay away from me now, you hear? She keeps fucking with my... She's effing with my effing head. Come on. All right. Just calm down. All right. Come on now. Let's go outside. I wasn't going to do nothing. Just scare a little. It's true, sometimes we'd fight just like all couples. But then we'd get out there on the road and have good times and everything be just like heaven.
here tonight. She don't know it yet, but we're going to try and get her up here. I heard her saying one time at church a few years back, and my God, she ain't a second Loretta. Let's see if we can get Miss Cilla White up here, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Cilla White. Come on up here, honey. Come on up. think that even Elvis himself left his Priscilla more than I did mine that night. My heart is fair bursting out of my chest as she sang and I stood there listening. It is like we was real stars from out of the sky, sparkling now instead on this here earth. a good life all right playing them shows Sil and Bob except there's always some kind of evil lurking I don't know why but it just seems to follow me around what's the matter Bob Jess I don't like playing for no niggers well, there's no problem, Bob, honest. I know there's a whole load of them in Meldwood. These human beings, just like all God's creatures. Now, pay no mind, Bobby. We'll have us a right good one here. I can feel it. <laughs> all right. I had no problem with them blacks. I'd been with them in Meldwood, and I had no quarrel. Not like Bob. No quarrel at all. If y'all want to live, then y'all run back to that room and be waiting for me. Or else I'll see your head blown into them bottles on the other side of this bar. Jess. You son of a bitch, motherfucker. Come on now, let's get out of here. You playing for my woman? You playing for my woman? No, they wasn't trying to steal Scylla from you. You see how they coming up to Scylla? They wasn't trying to steal Scylla from you. They was just playing. Come on, give me my gun. Let's go on out of here. I know that if Bob, who didn't even take to niggers, was trying to get me out of there instead of shooting holes and everything as I had a mind to, that I should pay heed else things would get worse still.
I was pulling on that bottle pretty good, you know, when I went into the motel. Room 11, one plus one, I remember that to this day, which is funny, cause I as a man gone mad. Well, the blood caught the water and started flowing real good, cause I cooked pretty deep, you see. And all that blood and hot water is pouring over her and down onto the white of the bath. It is then that I figured out I loved her, cause she wasn't dead and their eyes was dying and I didn't mind at all. started yelling and carrying on, so as Bob busted on in and then stopped up my arm. I can't say what would have happened if Bob weren't there. I think if Scylla would have halted till I was dead and buried, I said sometimes she ain't right. That is my good time. Cut short again. My life's been a party and a joke and a tragedy. Jesus got good hands, smooth and pink. The devil now his hands is rough and black. You can feel his touch like sandpaper rub down your back and scar your guts. Jesus' hands came and the devil's hands fire the blood, coursing and hot so as you have to move to cool off. You got to do something. Idle hands, the devil works. And that's true that idle hands is the devil's hand. Revenge is a strange thing, man. All you want is to do it. It's all you can think upon for the whole day, every week, every month, every year. It is when them thoughts came back that I carve or burn a picture. I liked all them stories and songs from the Bible. It bring a peace all over your whole life. I'm going out. Now, where are you going now? I'm going to church. Where do you think I'm going? I didn't let on, but I knowed where she was going. <laughs> Dorsey told me he'd seen her outside Vernon's old place of a time. I guess she missed them kids. <laughs> Things is sad when y'all get home from being away. All of a sudden it gets quiet and you get to thinking about all them things what happened. Like I said, that is what you do when you got the time, you pound upon the past. Then your home become more like a prison than anything. Like your past coming up into your future, messing with your good life. What's your name? Sam. 
Same, you can call me Jesse. How long you been in for? Two years. Two years? Never seen you. Why are you here? Now this can't be good for the soul, but me with not much to begin with. Well, Sam's older brother used to beat on him fairly, but Tally was in them dogs and chickens and the like. And I guess it happened that Tally got tired of them dogs and chickens and started work on Sam there in the hayloft up behind them fields. He gets Sam up there in that hayloft and real give a working. You know, naked like barnyard beauty, said faggot. Sam's pa went up the mountain for the new pasture, and Sam, well, I guess he didn't waste a minute. Tally hung there a few days, calling out till his voice went. Then his belly got real big from the gas that is in his guts, kind of him being crucified of a sort. Well, the stank is so bad that y'all could get a whiff of it all the way down the road. Now, Sam wanted Tally to feel that same pain in the gut, so he took his Mars old knitting needles from before she passed. That's how they came on him, sticking needles in his brother's fat belly. Bob wouldn't play for me no more. And Seal didn't want to go out on the road. Seal didn't like for me to party or drink at all. Not even a beer, neither. She said it weren't no good for my head. Made me promise to her and God above. Some say vengeance is best left to the Lord. And I tried to keep them evil thoughts from my mind. And it got worse still when I found out them's what done it had already got out of jail. <laughs> Look what you got here. <laughs> Judge said something wrong with the trial. They moved right back to the county. I even heard they was drinking down at Bob and B's. I must have thought of more ways to kill a man than there are possible. Receive. Let us be truly thankful. Amen. Amen. There's a time when, if left in your own head for too long, that you all have the privilege to go insane.
shell show some tension. Come on now, show some of that stepping. Leave me alone. Can't you see I'm trying to finish this carbon? You lost to the devil himself, just for what? I'll fucking blind you. Then take out your fucking tongue. If you don't shut your maggoty mouth. You're leaving me? Destroying yourself. What I got to live for? I ain't never coming back. Once that the devil is in your blood, smaller than you can see, and there can be no retribution. He gets in your skin and heart and bones, and he groans. He moves you then, 
and there ain't nothing Jesus can do. All you can hope for is to die or to take away your limbs so as not to do the devil's work. Cut out your tongue and chop off your feet, for they're no longer yourn, but hisn. Coal truck drivers, they get paid by the load. They is always cranking it to hold more so as they can get paid more. Most of them are good for a shot or two if they get a full head of steam on them. And goddamn, if I didn't want a trip. Straight to heaven. Feels just like being baptized in the cool river made of silver and gold. Felt like I could bless the world. One more, Bill Elvis. One more. Marilyn, get in the bed. You're drinking too much. You're taking too many drugs, bitch. Get in the bed. Uh huh.
I'm sorry for them things, what I've done. All them wrong things. Run for the hoofing would put me in Meldwood. I'm sorry for the tragedy, what's my life? I'll make it right. I'll make it right. There shall be vengeance upon them. In them videos, them nature one wild beasts of the animal kingdom. One minute he's running like a squirrel, then I pulled him with that hammer. Now he is down, just like a bobcat I've tagged him. You ever think I forgot about things, did you? You know I hate a dead covered worm. Jesse, no, please. Jesse, no, please. <laughs> <laughs> that is David paid up. Put down that gun, Jesse. She's gone. Kidnap long old killer. What happened to Scylla? Did you hurt her? Did you hurt her? I told you! I just came down the holler and found my trailer shot to hell and Scylla gone! Take it easy, Jess. Jesus Christ! If we can't wait here, or she'll be dead for sure! Long's come. Who wants the vengeance count on what I did to Davy? Davy? It's okay. It's all right now, Jess. It's all right. Just... Yeah. <laughs> 
back in Meldwood, we could make these out of toothbrush and tape. I do well use this in for shaving. No, no, yes, no. I know what you no. did to Scylla. I, I did not to Scylla. I, I don't know no, how you no. did it. No. But I know no, it's yes, you. No! No! no. 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 Save you now. So you're in hell already, Long. And the Lord ain't surely looking to save you with all you've done and all. The way I figure is that the Lord has a way of punishing people while they's here on earth. The mind has a way of getting away on you. I don't know what happened rightly. That's what happens when you're cranking it. Hardly know the visions from the reality. But I did know I had to get to the woods and get gone or I was going to have a fate worse than Tally Briscoe. Revenge makes you sick. Like all you can think about or imagine is killing and torturing and getting at vengeance. Well, once it's done, you gotta think and live with what was done to make you venge in the first place. And then that venge ain't there to make you feel good or anything no more. It is my daddy, D. Ray White, that gave me this life, and near the only good in it has been his doing. I tried to think what he'd have done in my place right then. Well, he'd have given himself up and told the police everything and do what's good and blessed, and I should have done that too, but I'm a weak man. He'd be heartbroken, that's sure. I still think on him, though, and I miss him, because I love my daddy and will till the day I die. what is always on me and driving me to distraction. I was there in them woods about two days before I figured out to get somewhere else. 
I got to thinking that old Edgar Hood had a cabin that was way out and nobody went out there except Daddy. And that is only for hunting. I lit out then and there for old Hood's cabin over by Sippin's Rise. It'll be 90 if he's a day. I was not sure at all if I'd find him there alive, not have seen him around for about a year. Jesse boys! <coughs> Better time. I hear you dancing just like Ray now. Or Twilight in Bainy Town. But look at you, boy. Now you real ragged. You get a jar of that water down you right now. It took me near on three days to get here. I can't do that trek no more. But no need neither. But don't try fooling me, boy. Because I know you got trouble. When you come in, I could smell a reek like dead squirrel. I know about your evil, Jessica White. Well, Edgar, I won't lie to you. I'm hiding out on account of the fact that I sorted out Davy and Long for what they done to Daddy. And then police is after me now, so as I come up here to hide out. I don't want no trouble for y'all, though. And if you can see your way clear to set me up with some food and but just let me rest a piece, then I'll be gone. Liars what you are, boy. You're weak. You was never enough man to avenge your daddy's death. Oh, Davy and Long, happy as can be, living a life on the other side of that mountain. The Lord will take care of them in his own sweet time. Except in now you, in your anger and vengeance, has taken the life of one not determined. And that there is blood on your brow, boy. And oh, it sickens my heart and that array to see you lie before God. Boy, you've done some bad things in your life. And no amount of crying's gonna change. You was always coming here, Jesus. I always said you'd turn out wrong, and here you are, a killer. And at some point, comes the retribution of the judge. How Jesus was made to walk on broken ground, his body gutted, and his breath stole from his earth by unholy deeds. Them who was left, gotta live by the laws set down for God. If you had been mad enough to get daily and long, you'd have shown or speeded them on their journey to hell where they'll burn for eternity. But this killing Riley, it's a killing against Jesus, the Lord who died God, and his will got to be done against the man what done this wrong. Please, Lord, save me. I don't know how long that fight lasted between the good Lord and the devil. But when I came out of it, I was nearly done myself. I understand now that it weren't Edgar at all that I was talking to then. I see it as God a-talking to me, telling me sense. I 
I could still hear old Higgins' voice days after I put him down there in the ground. The voice of God telling me things direct. And I knew what I had to do to clean them sins away. The Bible is what tells us everything that we need in life and death. Its pages are the messages to the people from God. Hell on earth so as eternity can be spent in the heavens. Turmoil and torment. Forty years of suffering to rid yourself of the devil's taint. Jesus is the Son of God. He could make miracles and feed the people with fish and bread, multiplying the numbers with the skin of his holy body. I understand my punishment now, though. How to cleanse away them bad what course through my veins, God tell me. Flesh is impure must be bled or boiled. Gotta clean the impure blood. I started with my fingers. They is easy. After cutting them, I'd take a poker from the fire and burn that wound closed. Sometimes I'd pass with the pain and dream of robins and the good. And so my flesh comes to bread. And my body comes to wine. When I take it into me, my new good soul clears it or it's bad and takes it to remake myself in a better image. The bad what's left is shit out and buried, and the whole area then is prayed over and set to flame. I knew then I was right. I was on the course of Jesus. When I get done with my toes, then go my ears and this liar's tongue. With each cut, I'm close to eternal bliss. Already I feel that my soul is lifting, trying to get to heaven for its time. It's fair busting to get up there. First, though, I must satisfy God, and I'm trying the best as I can to do so. Honestly. Seriously. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now. This time equals your death. Listen to the birds sing. Mm, fool's gonna fall and raise another fallen 
城。It can't be no lies in wait for those of us in crippled states. A broken mind, there's no escape when there's no one left to reason with. There's no one left to call your name. Child. Mm, who's gonna fall in race? Another fallen child.